Hello everyone, this is your Maven of Mystery, and I wanted to share some good news. I saw my pulmonologist this, this afternoon, and they're very, very happy um, with me. My lungs are completely clear now, and I am doing extremely well. So well, in fact, that they don't want to see me again. Unless, of course, something horrendous happens to me and I'm going to need to see a pulmonologist. A long, a long doctor. Anyway, as it is, I'm, I'm well. I'm getting better all the time. And they've um, remarked about my weight loss and my health and everything. And they wanted to know, the, the attending today wanted to know, well, what turned you around? And I, I said, you know, I had had two near-death near death experiences the hospital sent me home on hospice um, because my left lung was completely full. Um, they didn't think I would ever be able to pass air. And they thought that if I did survive, that I would not ever have the strength or the lung capacity to be able to walk again. So um, for a minute there, I took them at their word and kind of went home waiting to die. And I was seen by visiting nurses and um, CNAs and um, aides. One, one aide would bathe me twice a week and you know, different things like that. Um, and one day the aide, um, after she had shampooed my hair, left the cannula, which is, um, where you receive oxygen through your nose, um, left the cannula off and nobody noticed. And um, the that evening when I went to go to bed, I realized I haven't had my oxygen all day. And it kind of freaked me out. Um, I have anxiety disorder. So I, I started, you know, freaking out about not having the oxygen on. And um, my fiance, had given me a pulse ox, pulse ox, pulse oximeter. Let me see if I, I have it with me right now. Yeah. Look, it's pink. <laughs> pink is my favorite color. Anyway, what you do with this is you put it on your finger and you push the button. And then it'll come up with some numbers. What this is doing is it's um, showing how well or how horribly you're breathing. Um, and right now, I'm at 98, which is really, really good. So she put that on my finger and I was in my 90s and it was a revelation. Um, of course, I put the cannula on to go to bed, but the next day when the visiting nurse came, I told her what happened and she um, gave me an exam and she said after she checked all the areas um, front and back of my chest um, listening for you know my heart rate, my, my lungs, she said, I, I hear breath sounds in both of your lungs. So I was floored. I was getting better. And at the time I had, I was bedridden for over a year or about a year. And, um, that doesn't help your lungs to be just laying around. Um, so I started getting up um, have, with the Hoyer lift, getting up and getting in the wheelchair. And at first, I mean, it was really hard. My, my muscles were not good. It was kind of like an, a newborn. Um, I didn't have the strength to sit up for very long periods of time. And I pushed myself every day to go a little bit farther, a little bit longer. Uh, at first, I could only stay in my wheelchair for half an hour, and then it was back to bed. Um, then I started getting it 
to be an hour, hour and a half, two hours. And doing all of that caused me to cough a lot and get the mucus moving. And ultimately, I here I am now. I use a walker and um, I lost weight. Um, at first, I lost weight because I really wasn't interested in food. Um, I, I ate because I knew I had to, but I mean, I would start with just really little bits and I could probably eat half of that and then I was done. So I don't recommend that kind of food plan. Um, definitely treat food as medicine and you need to take all of it. Um, but you know, I just, I kept getting stronger and getting stronger and, um, then I ended up graduating from hospice to home health within about three months of, um, the nurse discovering that I could, I had breath sounds. And then within, um, from November to January, I stood up for the first time on my own. And by March, I was taking short steps. So, I mean, that was, um, hearing the, knowing that I could breathe and I was getting better was a turning point for me. At that point, I had um, stage four kidney disease, congestive heart failure, diabetes, and lung issues. Um, each one of my doctors had given me restrictions in my diet. Obviously, um, with diabetes, sugar is a big factor. And with um, congestive heart failure, sodium is an issue. And then with um, the kidney function, it's um, potassium, um, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, zinc. These are all the things um, you, you have to limit carbohydrates. You have to limit protein. And um, so it was all a lot to take in and try to adjust to so that I was meeting all of my um, dietary restrictions and I needed help doing that. I, I saw a dietitian and, you know, tried, I, I definitely um, wrote things down and I came up, I used my fitness pal and I had issues with that. It, it was, there were some things that um, it could not do for me. So um, we found another app and they ain't paying me to tell you this, but it's called My Net Diary. And it's amazing. It is amazing. I, I'm going to show you what I, this, I don't know if you can see it. Oop. Okay. Yeah, there you go. On my, my front page, I've got my blood glucose, the medications, um, the diabetes over, overview. And then I have, this is the amount of calories that I can have, or that's, you know, what I'm shooting for. And in the morning, I plan out my menu. Oh, no, this side. This is my menu. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And today, my total so far is, is 1769. 69? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you do your water intake, your exercise, you do notes, and it records your steps um, from, I've got this, um, what do I have? Fitbit. There we go. I have Fitbit. <laughs> and it works with my net diary. So the total of the steps that this reads shows up on this. Anyway, not only this, oops, go back, but 
here, first of all, that's um, my fat, my carbs, and my proteins. And um, orange is when you go over. Yeah. So I try not to do that, but some days it just doesn't work. And then all the things that the doctor wants me to restrict in my diet, I have right here. And it shows me when I go over. And when I see that I've gone, you know, over a lot, I mean, if I go over like five to 10 milligrams, I'm okay. But if I'm going over like a hundred or something like that, then I just go back into my food menu for the day and I adjust it so that these things will balance out. Anyway, then they also have, you know, a weight thing. And um, right now, you know, I'm, I'm uh, 247 pounds, and my plan is to lose 97 pounds in 665 days. And I'm really grateful about that um, because before I used to go on a lot of diets. Um, the first one I went on was the Stillman diet. There was um, this one that, that um, my mom had done. It was and it's called AIDS, A-Y-D-S, AIDS candy. And you would take two with hot liquid about 15 to 20 minutes before you eat. And it's supposed to reduce your appetite. And that didn't work. Um, <laughs> I went to Weight Watchers. I went to Take Off Pounds Sensibly. I went to Overeaters Anonymous. I would do low-carb diets, no protein diet. It was just ridiculous. Um, but in all of the ways and all the times that I lost weight, losing weight was easy for me. I mean, sure, you were restricted, but the, the weight would just, you know, come off. And it would come off very quickly. And then when I would stop doing that particular food plan, it would come on just as fast and always I would always be heavier the, the next time than when I had started the, the last diet. So I would always gain it back and more. So um, the one thing that I have seen in me is the slower the weight comes off, the more likely I am to keep it off. And so that's why I know it sounds like, you know, a hundred pounds in 665 days is, well, that's a long time. But then I look at it from the perspective of, I didn't gain weight overnight. You know, I, um, it took a while for me to do that. And so I'm just, I'm going to take my time and I'm also including a lot of exercise. I, I have a stationary bike and I am working back up to an hour a day on it. And my apartment complex has a fitness room that has a treadmill and an elliptical. And right now I'm just about um, done when I do 15 minutes on the treadmill. But, you know, every little bit helps. And I have these at my desk. One pound and two pound weights. I'm going to, you know, hopefully work up to five pounds. I was just doing the one pound weight and then I was doing the two pound weight. Now I'm putting them together. So they're three pounds. Yay. Anyway, the point is moving. Moving helps. Walking helps. Um, just getting up from your chair and walking around for a little while. It all, it's, it's so much better for your body. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share these things with you that's working for me. And I hope that, you know, if it, it can help you, that it would help you. And I, um, I'm really happy. I am really happy. I'm seeing a lot of, of results and I have gone from 
a tight squeezed 5x in shirts and pants and now I am a loose 2x and you know I'm looking forward to being an L <laughs> anyway um, I hope this helps you um, I hope you enjoy watching it if you have any comments or you know share your stories um, I would love to hear it and um, because it's always good to be able to exchange ideas and you know there may be something that you're doing that I hadn't thought of and I really would you know I will really would appreciate it so if you like my video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't yet um, please subscribe and definitely comment below so that we can have a conversation so thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you later